After sleeping for a while, Lu Zhizhong woke up to find that he had become a newborn small planet. Faced with such a situation, Lu Zhizhong was helpless, but fortunately gained the ability to open a wormhole. Chapter 1 The Light of Rice Grains You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the deep sky of the universe, a star core the size of a grain of rice is gradually growing and attracting the surrounding nebula to gather. It is unknown how long before a planet with a diameter of one kilometer is born. It is called a planet because it has a thin atmosphere, with water and air inside, one dot third of which is land area and two dot thirds is ocean. Microorganisms in the ocean roamed freely around the world. At this moment, Lu Zhizhong woke up and instinctively wanted to rub his eyes, but found himself powerless. When he opened his eyes, he found himself in an empty universe. In the distance, a large fireball was wantonly splashing its light, washing away at him, making him feel a little warmth in this cold universe. It turned out that he had transformed into a planet. Lu Zhizhong's consciousness wandered around the planet and found himself quite small. However, it was amazing that microorganisms could be born on such a small planet. Lu Zhizhong realized that he had returned to the space of the star core, examined his core, and after some operation, understood the basic information. This was the main energy core and also his life core. If it was destroyed, he would also die, and within the core, he could freely exert himself. Therefore, Lu Zhizhong began to try to create an auxiliary program to divide some of his consciousness into it. After a while, a weak consciousness was born, and he began to feel a bit confused. Slowly, he woke up and understood how he appeared. Lu Zhizhong looked at the auxiliary program and said, Hi, 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 what functions are introduced and introduced? Please call me Zongzi, Lu Zhizhong was surprised, is it so amazing that he even named himself? Nonsense, witty like me, brother Zongzi, do you have any functions? I woke up feeling like I could control the climate inside the planet, for example, if there was too much seawater, I could control the temperature and freeze the excess water in the polar regions. Will it have an impact on the organisms on the planet? Within the range, there won't be any impact, as long as you don't make too much water into a water ball. I see, then the affairs within that planet will be left to you. No problem, Zongzi said and wandered to the surface of the planet Lu Zhizhong watched as the nebula outside the planet began to use gravity to capture, with strands of dust slowly pouring into the planet, constantly expanding its volume. On the planet, Zongzi looks at a group of microorganisms as if they are two groups, fighting and annexing each other in a war. It is unknown how long it will take until the war is over, and the winning party is cleaning up the mess. Zongzi was very curious. After a deep observation, he found that this group of microorganisms was a floating species with a zigzag shape around the body. When moving, they would move forward as fast as a rotating zigzag. When attacking the enemy, they would hit it directly and quickly, cutting it into pieces. At this moment, they are feeding on prey, let's call them the Sawtooth tribe. The Sawtooth tribe has a high level of unity and cooperation ability and combat level, and they must be able to develop to an extraordinary level. After seeing almost everything, Zongzi left. Unexpectedly, the Zigzag clan came to an end with the battle, changed its shape, and gathered together in human form to communicate. Aksu, the clan leader, said to the crowd, the threat has disappeared, and it can be changed back to human form. Good, yes, it's just so scary. If it weren't for the tribal leader's reminder, I wouldn't have known. The chieftain is the chieftain, and his skills are not small. Under the leadership of the clan leader, we will become bigger and stronger, and create new brilliance. Clan chief Aksu looked at the evolutionary system in his mind with great enthusiasm. Originally, Aksu was a player who was addicted to the game of the secret realm planet and eventually died there. After waking up, Aksu found himself traveling here and fortunately obtained the evolutionary system. From a weak microorganism, it slowly grew and now has more than 3,000 members of the tribe. These members are all bred using the evolutionary system and have the ability to edit the tribe. 
At this time, Aksu looked at the introduction of the race, race. Sawtooth Beast, Fungal Level. Level 5 inch, possessing two forms. Animal and human, possibility. Absorb the essence of the sun and the moon to become stronger, Clan Chief Oxu's exclusive ability. Race gene editing, only valid for this clan, life forms. Silicon. Based life evolution point. One inch Oxu opened the evolutionary spectrum and said as he looked at it, to become a mayfly level, we still need to upgrade to 9,995 levels. We have hunted down a total of 5,000 bacteria, and the upgrade is far away. One evolution point can reproduce 100,000 people, but this is the bottomless pit. Unlocking the ability to reproduce races.10 evolution points, race defense value asterisk 1.10 evolution points, the evolution point requires collecting special energy minerals to obtain. This evolution point was just collected by oneself from the breath left by the terrifying life. If it weren't for the system constantly issuing alarms, I wouldn't have known that the other party was observing my own population, which scared me to death. I thought it was going to cool down just after crossing, but fortunately the other party didn't have any malice. Little ones. Keep moving forward and explore, Aksu said to the people of all ethnicities then the Sawtooth tribe wandered forward and left their original place. At this moment, Planet Lu Zhizhong is using gravity to capture meteorites with a diameter of several hundred meters from afar. When they approach, they are torn apart into dust by gravity, and then absorbed into the interior of the planet by gravity. This process is repeated repeatedly, and when encountering two large meteorites, Lu Zhizhong has to avoid them. It's too slow. When will it take to expand to the star rating? Lu Zhizhong said boredly. Suddenly, Lu Zhizhong had a bold idea. Why not take the whole bigger one? He said he could do it. After some twists and turns, Lu Zhizhong found a meteorite with a diameter of several kilometers and quickly attracted it. When he approached, he wanted to tear it apart with gravity. What's the situation? It's so hard, not good. It's about to collide. Lu Zhizhong quickly used gravity to push it away, but was unsuccessful. He only pushed himself away a bit, but he was also locked by the other party and could only circle around the meteorite in the end. I'm really lacking in heart and swallowing elephants. I'm still too greedy, Lu Zhizhong joked to himself Lu Zhizhong could only continue to use gravity to capture the small meteorite and expand himself step by step. He looked at the meteorite in front of him, which was several times larger than him, and said, Humph. I'll eat you sooner or later. However, although Lu Zhizhong was still trying to concentrate gravity to form a gravitational beam and shoot it towards the meteorite, slowly capturing the material on the other side and absorbing it. Fortunately, this meteorite is not conscious, otherwise it would be unlucky, no. Why did you eat me? A faint consciousness came over, ah. Who's talking? Lu Zhizhong was bewildered as Lu Zhizhong continuously used gravity to absorb the other party's matter, their consciousness gradually became clearer. Lu Zhizhong suddenly thought of something and quickly returned to the star core to take a look. Chapter 2 Nuclear Mutation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Lu Zhizhong returned to the nucleus to examine and found that the energy in the nucleus had spread into the meteorite due to gravity. Is this the reason why that meteorite was able to give birth to consciousness? Lu Zhizhong pondered I clicked a few times and looked at the star core panel, which the protagonist displayed in a way they could understand, but actually did not exist. Let's just call it a program, Lu Zhizhong thought, looking at the additional accessory program on the star core panel. Watching the energy of the star core continuously decreasing, with only 70% remaining, Lu Zhizhong quickly interrupted the energy transmission and locked in the energy of the star core to prevent it from leaking out. Oh, how did that energy disappear, said the disappointed consciousness, maybe it's finished, I don't know, Lu Zhizhong said to the consciousness, what's your name, said the consciousness, my name is Lu Zhizhong, what's your name? Lu Zhizhong asked tentatively, my name is also Lu Zhizhong, 
and our names are the same, said the consciousness, I am Lu Zhizhong, you are not. I'm older than you, I'm the one, said the body, whose consciousness had shaken for several kilometers, I'm stronger than you, I'm the one, Lu Zhizhong said, launching a gravitational beam and forcefully sucking on the meteorite, tearing apart small pieces of it and turning them into dust to absorb and eat. Ah! No, you're Lu Zhizhong, you're Lu Zhizhong, don't hit me anymore, the consciousness wailed, hum hum, small sample, I can't cure you. Call me the boss. You can call it Big Zongzi later. You also have a brother called Little Zongzi, said Lu Zhizhong Di sir, well, well, please forgive me, said the Big Zongzi pathetically, here you go, Lu Zhizhong threw a ball of light over, what is this? Auxiliary programs, what is an auxiliary program? Don't ask, just load it and you'll know, Lu Zhizhong said impatiently, take your time to study it first, said Lu Zhizhong and returned to the star core, regardless of what the big Zongzi did. Lu Zhizhong looked at the anomalies discovered in the star nucleus and attempted to conduct various experiments using the energy of the star nucleus. He also created a program to replace himself in using gravity to capture matter and limit the volume to prevent such a situation from happening again. In his research, Lu Zhizhong discovered that the energy of the stellar nucleus can absorb the energy of the star to supplement it, but there is an upper limit. Once the upper limit is reached, it will escape. The reason why he knows this is because the nucleus is small, and the energy can be replenished. The nucleus can also use the energy of the nucleus to expand its mass, but the consumption is extremely terrifying. However, he also knows that the size of the nucleus remains unchanged, at least for now it does not change. It is just a continuous accumulation of mass. The higher the mass, the higher the energy storage limit, and the larger the space inside the nucleus. All right, we're almost done with our research. Let's talk about it later. Let's go see how things are outside, Lu Zhizhong thought wearily, I feel that gravity has become stronger a lot. Is it due to an increase in the mass of the star's nucleus? It's not bad, not bad. Then I looked at the big Zongzi. At this time, the big Zongzi was also much bigger. It turned out that while the materials attracted by itself were swallowed by themselves, there were also many residues caught by the gravity of the big Zongzi. At this time, the big Zongzi star was slowly producing atmosphere. The Big Zongzi star has become pockmarked and scarred, and from time to time the Big Zongzi cries. What's wrong with you? How did you end up like this? Lu Zhizhong asked suspiciously, the meteorite you attracted is hurting me so much. I'm working on the atmosphere to defend myself. There were countless small meteorites crashing onto the surface of the Big Zongzi star, and the fire was soaring. Boom boom. Hey! Hello. Lu Zhizhong couldn't bear to look at the tragedy directly, so he had to strengthen the gravity to try to reduce the meteorite hitting the big Zongzi star, and the others were powerless. Can't you use your gravity? I used the auxiliary program you gave me. It seems that the star core is still in the process of breeding, so it can't be controlled. The auxiliary program can only control the surface climate, and now it is creating an atmosphere for me, said Big Zongzi Lu Zhizhong was puzzled. After calling out the auxiliary program record, he understood what was going on. It turned out that this Big Zongzi was still a baby, ha. <laughs> You're still young, so you can't control it. It's okay, just wait until you grow up, Lu Zhizhong comforted okay, okay, Big Zongzi wronged at this time, the diameter of Lu Zhizhong increased to 10 kilometers, while the diameter of Zongzi also reached 6 kilometers. At last, it's bigger than the big Zongzi. It's not easy, but how long did it take? Lu Zhizhong thought about looking inside the planet, it seems like it's been quite a while, forget it, don't get tangled up, Lu Zhizhong said before continuing to strengthen the star core. Deep sea two giant plankton were fighting each other, and after an unknown amount of time, they were both defeated. The two giant plankton were staring at each other tightly, ready to give them a fatal blow at any moment. At this moment, Aksu was watching the battle from a distance with his own tribe. We've been fighting for so long, 
we probably don't have much strength anymore. It's time for me to pick peaches, give it a try, bike to motorcycle. Then two giant planktonic organisms began to fight again, and in the end, one of them was bitten to the death. As it was about to cool down, Aksu excitedly shouted, it's now. All evolution points have multiplied into clans. In an instant, 100,000 serrated beasts appeared around. Little ones. Kill me. Immediately, Aksu rushed over with a dense group of clan members. A group of two to three centimeter sized creatures killed two bloody giant plankton, and countless serrated beasts spun and cut into the bodies of the giant plankton, plunging deep into the interior and making a violent charge. Two giant plankton howled and struggled back and forth, their mouths biting and devouring in a frenzy. After several hours of intense fighting, Aksu finally struggled to win, but his own tribe only had seven or eight thousand left, resulting in heavy losses. I was careless, it's all like this, and I still have such strong combat power. Then I looked at my own panel, Dei Fengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, Aksu sighed as he looked at the giant plankton being eaten by his tribe in the distance, but I finally upgraded to the floating level. It's really good, it's delicious. The next level is the ant level. There are too few special energy mines, Aksu sighed as he looked at his pitiful zero evolution point, forget it, when the boat reaches the bridgehead, it will naturally straighten out. Let's continue to search and accumulate it bit by bit. This harvest is enough to eat for a long time, at least there's no need to worry about the tribe starving. It's really heartbreaking to worry about the tribe's food. Aksu continued to inventory and looked at the panel, race. Sawtooth Beast, Floating Level Level 1 Inch, Possessing Two Forms Animal and Human, Possibility Absorb the essence of the sun and the moon to become stronger, Clan Chief Aksu's exclusive ability. Race Gene Editing, Only Valid for This Clan, Life Forms Silicon.Based Life Evolution Point Zero Inch Chapter 3 The Rise of Aksu you are listening at novel full dot audio. Ding, evolution point plus one, ding, evolution point plus one, ding, evolution point plus one, the dense and continuous acquisition of evolutionary points suggests the emergence of Aksu let out a sigh and quickly checked the source of the evolution point it is written in the system diary, Sawtooth Beast Armor discovered fungal level special energy mine asterisk one, expected revenue of 100 evolution points, discovered location, as shown in the picture, collecting in progress, expected to be completed in one minute and forty seconds, Aksu went to the discovery site and took a look. It turned out to have been found inside a giant planktonic organism. A white crystal was collected by the tribe there, and after successful collection, it transformed into light particles and disappeared into Aksu's body before transferring to him. This tribe member belongs to the collector profession and is specifically responsible for collecting energy minerals. Other tribe members are prohibited from touching crystals. As time passed, the crystals slowly disappeared and were collected completely. Aksu ordered his tribe to search for crystals around. Since this giant plankton can have white crystals, it means there should be more nearby. I hope we can get more. Three days later the giant planktonic organisms have been decomposed and their residence time is coming to an end. During this time, no white crystals have been found again, and Aksu can only disappointedly continue to move forward with his tribe. After careful selection, only ten points of evolution points were left as a backup, and the rest were spent race. Sawtooth Beast, Floating Level Level 1 Inch, Possessing Two Forms Animal and Human, Possibility Absorb the essence of the sun and the moon to become stronger, float level defense value. 80 inch, Reproductive Ability Reproductive cycle of 10 days, each reproduction consumes 90% of an individual's energy, Clan Chief Aksu's exclusive ability. Race Gene Editing, Only Valid for This Clan, Life Forms Silicon.Based Life, Evolution Point 10-inch Aksu chose it after reading the defense value introduction. As long as the attack power does not exceed the defense value, 
no one can break the body defense of their own population. Another reason for choosing this is that they made up their minds after seeing the two giant plankton come to an end. After all, Aksu also doesn't want to be attacked by the enemy and cause extensive damage inside his body. Next, I will continue to wander and search for food to enhance my strength. After an unknown amount of time, the head of the Biming Krill tribe in a certain area, Phosphoming, looked at the surrounding Krill people and loudly said, Be bigger, stronger, and create more glory. The strongest in the history of Biming Krill. Long live the clan chief. Long live the clan chief. Young ones, defeat all the nearby Krill. I want to dominate, and you are learning from the power of the dragon. Charge. Rush. Kill it. A large wave of krill had a fierce conflict with another krill. There are constant deaths of krill, followed by the addition of new krill. Since the heavens have allowed me to travel to the secret realm planet, I must seize the opportunity this time. System. Get out. Ding, the evolutionary system reports to you, ha ha ha, there is indeed a system. View panel. Race. Krill beast, floating level. Level 3 inch, possessing two forms. Animal and human, possibility. Absorb the essence of the sun and the moon to become stronger, float level defense value. 100 inch, exclusive ability of clan leader Phosphone. Race gene editing, only valid for this clan, life forms. Carbon based life, evolution point. 0 inch, it's exactly the same. The destiny is in me. Phosphorus said with a loud laugh. The northern sea krill were killing other groups of krill crazily in front of them. Finally, after killing the other king of krill, they collected the remaining surviving krill. At this time, the number of the northern sea krill population reached an astonishing 10 million. After checking the harvest, Phosphorus Ming continued to embark on a new journey with the North Sea krill population after a long time. Aksu saw the distant krill population muttering, the group of krill in front is so spectacular. You should be able to gain some experience, little ones. Come on, let's live. After speaking, he took the serrated beast group to kill the krill group. The, buzzing buzzing, rapidly spun forward and soon led 100,000 serrated beasts to rush into the krill population, indulging in wild revelry. As the krill was slaughtered in large numbers, Biming received a hint and didn't pay much attention at first. After all, it was a tiny creature that other fish would always eat. However, gradually Biming felt something was wrong and found that serrated creatures in the distance were constantly strangling his own tribe. The king is not good. Our Biming krill are being crazily slaughtered by a strange group of creatures, with a level of about eight, an ordinary krill hurriedly reported. Biming was furious and said, you're so brave. What kind of beast am I? I turned out to be a group of little brats. Send 5000000 elite level 100 krill to kill them. Obey me, said the krill, and then he went to issue the order. When Aksu was killing happily, he suddenly realized that there was something wrong with the krill population. The surrounding krill people frantically retreated, and a krill that looked a bit different in color swam towards him. Aksu became alert and dispatched a team of 100 to try the opponent's depth. Not long after, the hundred-man serrated beast encountered a contact battle with the group of krill. The serrated beast was chopped like a melon and vegetable before being killed in just a few strokes, without any struggle, completely different from the previous group of krill. The group of krill used to be able to run amok like a serrated beast inside without any resistance, but now they are so brave that it's definitely not easy to provoke them. They greeted each other and said, knock your hands on the idea. Withdraw. After speaking, they quickly rotated and left with the group it disappeared in a blink of an eye when the elite krill army arrived, they had already disappeared without a trace, damn it. Running so fast, I need to accelerate the population when I get to the evolution point, otherwise I won't be able to catch up with the enemy, wouldn't I be passively beaten? Biming angrily said, and then ordered the population to collectively migrate to the next place. Anyway, 
I can't stay here anymore and it's easy to be eaten and die. I'll also search for special energy mines. After watching the krill population slowly leave, Aksu finally sighed and said, fortunately, we're far away. Otherwise, if we get entangled, we might not be able to escape. We still can't be too arrogant in the future. The biological consciousness of the secret realm planet is very strong. Clan leader. We have discovered a special energy mine, a sawtooth beast exclaimed in surprise, where is it? Take me quickly, Aksu said as he looked at the tribe. Subsequently, they were taken to the habitat of a group of jellyfish populations. The group of jellyfish shimmered brightly. Aksu took a look and recognized it as a group of lightning jellyfish. Players from the previous world's secret realm planet were tormented to the point of not wanting them, but in the center of that group of jellyfish, there was a large special energy mine level that appeared to be floating. If only I could get it, I would be rich. Unfortunately, there are so many lightning jellyfish here, probably hundreds of millions of levels, so strong, Aksu said with envy then, thinking about whether they could dig it underground, they began to swim towards the seabed with their group. Chapter 4 Daifengshu, Salad of Assorted Fresh Vegetables, in Aksu You are listening at NovelFull.audio On the seabed, serrated beasts were spinning at high speed to dig holes, and with Aksu's command, the tunnels were slowly widened and reinforced. We need to dig deeper, otherwise it's easy to collapse. I don't know how long it took, as time slowly passed, Aksu and his serrated beast tribe approached the special energy mine closer and closer. One day, a jellyfish wandered near the tunnel. When it saw the tunnel, it felt something was wrong and went back to report it. Aksu looked excitedly at the sawtooth beasts working and said, Keep up the good work, the benefits will come from you all. The jellyfish here has returned to the central report. Jellyfish King Golden Handsome, what are you saying? You found an unknown creature wandering nearby, looking like it's digging a hole. Detect. Send sentinels to explore. Special abilities and minds must not be lost, and all nearby foreign tribes must be taken down. Golden Handsome Wrath in the core area of the jellyfish population, a team of 300 sentinel jellyfish swam towards the discovered tunnel. Not long after, the sentinel jellyfish arrived at the entrance of the tunnel, leaving 100 sentinel jellyfish in place. The remaining 200 sentinel jellyfish entered the tunnel and went deep along the way. At a corner, a few serrated beasts discovered the sentinel jellyfish and quickly summoned their tribe to come and support. ZZZ, several lightning bolts directly hit the serrated beast, which was like a rag doll and exploded into pieces with a sudden pop. The sentinel jellyfish disdainfully shook its tentacles, as if talking about a group of vulnerable ants. After killing these serrated beasts, the sentinel jellyfish continued to advance. What? You've noticed jellyfish coming in. Send the beasts to kill them quickly, Aksu thought, just a few jellyfish that accidentally broke in, and said nonchalantly not long after, the sawtooth beast tribe split out a thousand to support them. When the thousand beasts team arrived at the location, they found that the jellyfish were also coming towards them. Only two hundred. Who do you look down on? Take them down, fight them back and continue working, said the thousand beasts chief to the tribe. Only a thousand. Kill as many ants as you come, the sentinel jellyfish disdainfully shook its tentacles and released lightning strikes. Zizizi, buzzing, in an instant, lightning struck hundreds of jagged beasts and exploded them. The remaining serrated beast was buzzing and spinning at high speed, attacking the jellyfish, instantly tearing them apart into pieces. In no time, all the jellyfish were killed in battle, and more than 800 sawtooth beasts also died, achieving a devastating score of 4.1. The thousand beasts chief looked at these jellyfish in shock and said, little jellyfish are so terrifying. After instructing a hundred sawtooth beasts to continue moving forward and cleaning, leaving behind about ten to clean the battlefield, the remaining guards went back to report the situation to Aksu. Aksu looked at only a few dozen sawtooth beasts left and asked in confusion, why are only a few of you left? The enemy is too powerful. 
200 jellyfish, and we lost most of them at the beginning of the battle. We only managed to completely annihilate them when we were close, reported Qianxiu Chang, understood, if you lead another 10,000 serrated beasts, be sure to block the news. In a few days, you will find a special energy mine, and there won't be any more accidents, Aksu said as he looked ahead. Beast Captain Wan led his troops to break away from the tribe and swim towards the tunnel exit at this moment, the sentinel jellyfish noticed something was wrong and sent several sentinel jellyfish back to report the situation. A few hours later, the sentinel jellyfish who reported the situation arrived at the location and reported the situation to the Golden Marshal. After knowing its shape and tunnel direction, the Golden Marshal speculated that it might be trying to steal special energy mines. He then became furious and said, Golden Marshal. Give you 100,000 soldiers and horses, and I will eliminate them. The golden water flows out of the tunnel and the bays, then orders 100,000 troops and horses to immediately advance towards the tunnel. A massive army of lightning jellyfish, with all obstacles shattered by lightning. At the entrance of the tunnel, hundreds of jellyfish were constantly bombarding the serrated beasts inside. Zizizi, roaming and rumbling, hold on, reinforcements are coming soon, said a sentinel jellyfish the serrated beast crazily charged towards the jellyfish, constantly shattering and adding new members. In no time, finally, a serrated beast came into contact with the jellyfish. Ah ah ah, a jellyfish was torn apart directly. The sentinel jellyfish suddenly appeared with a gap, and another serrated beast successfully approached the jellyfish. In no time, more than a hundred jellyfish collectively died in battle. Finally one, it's really difficult to fight. One beast looked at the sawtooth beast fragments floating around and said. Thousand beasts chief, to, report back and request support, obey me, said the thousand beasts chief, and then swam into the tunnel. I reckon there will be enemies coming again. You all go ambush near the tunnel entrance and follow my command before rushing out and taking down this group of goods that only know how to fly kites remotely. He then arranged for the remaining serrated beasts to disperse around the tunnel entrance. Buzzing, saw toothed beasts scattered into the seabed, then turned and buried their figures with mud and sand. After a while, no more traces were visible. Report to the clan chief, the chief beast asked me to come back and pull reinforcements, the chief beast said to Aksu, hmm. What's going on? Can't even defeat ten thousand sawtooth beasts. How many jellyfish have arrived? Report to the clan leader, we have already annihilated those jellyfish, but their combat power is too strong. They have consumed two or three thousand clan members just in close combat. The outer space of the tunnel entrance is open, and they began to block the tunnel entrance and launch a crazy bombardment. Later, they fought and retreated. Clan leader. We were beaten by kites, said the thousand beast leader with grief and indignation. Then he said, Captain Wan speculates that there may be more jellyfish reinforcements coming, so let me pull in some reinforcements. That's it, Aksu pondered for a moment. After thinking for a moment, there were only a few hours left until he found the special energy mine, and all the losses could be made up for. He said, keep one thousand, and take the rest to guard the tunnel entrance. Ackman will have you as the commander. Ensure completion of the task, Ackerman stood out and led the Sawtooth Beast army towards the tunnel entrance. At the entrance of the tunnel. The whole area has become bright, with countless jellyfish drifting over. My old swan, so many, said the beast master in a daze, has the jellyfish come yet? A voice came from behind, yes, there's a lot coming, said the beast commander as he looked behind him. It seems there are quite a few, it's difficult to fight now. I guess we can only put them in the tunnel and fight again. Where are your people? Why are you the only one left? Ackerman said after looking outside. Lord Ackerman, I have already ambushed them outside and around, replied Beast Lord Wan, hmm. Is that right? Then we can plan well. Ackerman looked at it and arranged for one beast to leave with ten thousand serrated beasts. He then led a large army to guard the tunnel entrance. 
ha ha ha, finally found it, collect it. The sound of, ding, evolution point plus one, series of evolution point arrival prompts keeps emerging. Ah. What a wonderful sound. Send 100,000 sawtooth beasts to support. As he spoke, he exchanged 100,000 tribe members for them to support Ackman, while he continued to stay here guarding the special energy mine and flipped through the evolution chart to see if there were any good things to exchange. Chapter 5 Battle of Tunnel Mouth You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Jellyfish General Jinjinshui looked at the entrance of the tunnel and asked about the previous situation. After thinking for a while, he divided the 100,000 army into 10 legions. After the first army acted as the vanguard and attacked the tunnel entrance, the second and third armies were ready to support the first army at any time, and the rest patrolled the surroundings to prevent enemies from attacking from the periphery, the jellyfish army began to attack. Zizizi, roaming and rumbling, retreat, retreat. Don't resist forcefully, step back inside. Bring them all in. With Ackman's orders, the Sawtooth Beast army slowly retreated. That's it. You're such an ant. It seems like you overestimated them. Order the first army to directly kill them and annihilate them all. Their king is probably also inside. If you catch the enemy king, reward them with a hundred crystals. Golden water ordered. Immediately, the messenger sent the order to the major legions, and in an instant, each legion became boiling. The first legion was even more excited and joyous in its bombardment, with lightning tunnels constantly vibrating. In no time, the jellyfish vanguard troops entered the tunnel, and the serrated beasts retreated and fought, as if they were losing one after another. Aksu also reached the evolution point here and exchanged a group skill. Race Sawtooth Beast, floating level 8, possessing two forms. Animal and human, possibility. Absorb the essence of the sun and the moon to become stronger, energy cannon, whirling flying blade, ant level defense value. 1 inch, reproductive ability. Reproductive cycle of 10 days, each reproduction consumes 90% of an individual's energy, clan chief Oxu's exclusive ability. Race gene editing. Only valid for this clan, life forms. Silicon dot based life evolution point. 16,831 inch, not bad, I should be able to handle the jellyfish outside now. Continue mining in exchange for more good things, Aksu thought. In the fierce battle at the tunnel, the sawtooth beast suddenly shook all over, showing different changes. Soon, the sawtooth beast had a lot of new knowledge in its mind. At this time, the sawtooth beast had an additional nozzle in the middle of its animal form. As long as it rotated, the energy source continuously fired energy cannons to bombard the enemy. There was also a circle of sharp blades outside the circle that could be thrown out to attack the enemy, and then retracted, enhancing its body defense ability. After Ackman understood, he immediately ordered the army to stop retreating and prepare to start a counterattack. The front line team charges, the middle line team's energy cannons bombard and cover the front line, and the rear line's backup losses are constantly issued with orders the jellyfish lightning attack hit a jagged beast, but this time it didn't shatter the opponent with just one strike. It took more than ten hits to shatter it. After seeing this, the commander of the jellyfish first army ordered the messenger to report the situation to the command center. Report to Lord Jin Chue the enemy has suddenly become stronger. It takes more than 10 rounds of bombardment to shatter it, and the enemy has more attack methods than before, including energy attacks and flying blade attacks. The messenger reported. Hmm. There's such a thing. Someone. Report this to our king and send a swift jellyfish to report it. It's urgent, Huang Jin Shui ordered. Countless rays of light constantly bombarded each other in the tunnel, causing it to vibrate and become increasingly spacious. Countless jellyfish and serrated beasts were smashed into pieces, but were constantly hit and extinguished by the rays. The first legion of jellyfish was defeated and retreated. We can launch an ambush now, the whole army is pressing down. 
Roaming and rumbling, at this point, there was chaos behind the first jellyfish legion, causing the forward attack to suddenly weaken. The time has come. The whole army is charging, Ackman roared angrily. The sawtooth beasts rushed towards the first legion of jellyfish with a swoosh, and in an instant, the jellyfish group was cut apart and shattered. Damn it! The first army has been breached, and the second and third army have been pressed down. Block them all at the tunnel entrance and don't allow them to come out. Golden Water angrily said. After reporting the war to the Golden Marshal, the messenger soldiers in the Jellyfish Palace retreated. It seems that we can't take it lightly anymore. We probably have already dug into the underground of the special energy mine. Stealing my special energy mine is really damn. Let Golden Leaf inspect the surroundings of the special energy mine and quickly find and kill the thief. After giving the order, Golden Marshal pondered for a long time and ultimately chose to send 500,000 elite troops, level 100, as the vanguard. We will see the situation later before making a choice. Poo 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 poo, buzzing, retreat, retreat. Scatter positions, be careful to avoid attacks. Brothers, come with me. On the battlefield, both sides engaged in intense contact battles. The jellyfish fought and retreated, using their tentacles and intense lightning to attack nearby sawtooth beasts. When a flying blade flew over, they used lightning attacks to fly it away. Once close, the jellyfish immediately exploded. With a loud roar, the serrated beasts around him were directly wiped away. The serrated beast keeps moving to avoid lightning attacks, occasionally counterattacking with energy cannons, aiming for opportunities and harvesting directly with flying blades. If harvesting fails, try to get close. Once it finds a chance to get close, it must immediately take advantage of the opportunity to self-destruct and cut it into pieces. There are countless situations on the battlefield, with jellyfish constantly being torn apart and serrated beasts constantly being blasted into pieces, with fragments drifting slowly into the distance with the water flow. The sawtooth beast reinforcements continued to join the battlefield, gradually overwhelming the jellyfish army. The jellyfish army retreated step by step, and the first legion was completely annihilated. The second and third legion were fighting in the meat grinder on the battlefield, and the sawtooth beast was unable to break through at the tunnel entrance. They were trapped around the tunnel entrance and unable to move. Whenever the jellyfish army was repelled, a self-exploding jellyfish team rushed over and exploded along the way, Sheng Sheng pushed the front line back to the entrance of the tunnel. In the back and forth tug of war, the number of jellyfish troops was decreasing. It seemed that success was imminent, but another jellyfish army rushed in from a distance. Looking at the brighter colors, it could be seen from a long distance. Ackerman remembered the fear of being driven away by the hundred-level shrimp soldiers and immediately sent messengers back to report to the clan leader. Before long, the clan chief Aksu was aware of the seriousness of the situation, and he had been hearing occasional vibrations above the special energy mine tunnel recently. It was estimated that he would be discovered and had to find a way to run away. This time, he exchanged millions of serrated beasts to support the battlefield, and he also started digging tunnels on his side, preparing to escape from other places. Redemption List, Elite Sawtooth Beast Floating Level 100 Asterisk 1 Evolution Point 100 Inch, The System Redeemed Me 100, Ding, The Exchange Was Successful, and 10,000 Evolution Points Have Been Deducted. Aksu looked at the 100 elite serrated beasts in front of him and ordered, dig the tunnel along this direction. After that, he didn't pay attention and continued to watch as the evolution points increased with continuous collection. Hurry up, hurry up, take more before leaving, everything that belongs to me is mine, Aksu greedily looked at the special energy mine in front of him and said tunnel entrance, the reinforcements have arrived, and this time the clan leader has supported a million soldiers and horses. We must defend for a while longer. Whether our sawtooth tribe can become strong depends on this time, Ackerman murmured as he looked at the jellyfish army in the distance. Chapter 6 Life and Death Escape You are listening at novelfull.audio After seeing the reinforcements, 
Golden Water exclaimed with great joy, this time we have a 500,000 elite army, this wave is stable. Ha ha ha. Order ordinary legions to assist in the battle, with elite legions as the main attack, command the elite legion to overwhelm the entire army, and I will recklessly enter this wave. After the order was issued, the ordinary jellyfish legion began to make way for the elite jellyfish legion to enter the battlefield. As the elite jellyfish legion joined the battlefield, the sawtooth beast army was constantly being killed like snowflakes, without even a chance to approach. The energy cannons fired by the sawtooth beast occasionally hit the elite jellyfish, but they were all like tickling and had no killing power. Even their flying blades were shattered by lightning, causing serious damage to the Sawtooth Beast army. Ackerman thought about the enemy's strength, but he didn't expect it to be so strong. He constantly commanded the army of Sawtooth Beasts from behind to join the battlefield, and another army of Sawtooth Beasts was constantly killed. I can't beat it, I can't beat it at all. I have to run away, Ackerman couldn't help but think, Beast Chief, you command here first. I'll report the situation to the clan chief, and I'll go back as soon as I go, Ackman said without looking back. After seeing this situation, one beast commander calmly commanded the Sawtooth Beast Army to continue fighting against the elite jellyfish. After a while, one beast commander looked at Qian Beast Commander and said, The enemy's strength is strong, I will go and send reinforcements over. Don't leave now, I will go and return. After that, he immediately left. Thousand Beast Chief looked at the departing One Beast Chief in confusion. After thinking for a moment, he decided to let it go and could only command the army first. Ackman returned to Oxu's side and said to him, Hundreds of thousands of elite jellyfish legions have arrived on the front line, with strong strength just like the elite shrimp soldiers back then. What? The enemy is so brave. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and run away. The system redeems random transmission symbols, ding, exchange successful, Aksu looked at the random teleportation array and prayed that it could be teleported to a good place. He closed his hands and held the random teleportation array in his palm. He breathed a sigh of relief and said, can the heavenly and earthly spirits give me a good place? Then he threw the random teleportation array symbol to the ground. With a snap. A mysterious pattern slowly appeared on the ground, rotating continuously, displaying a countdown of five hours. Scattered escape, Ackman. It's safer for you to escape along this path. I'll take the teleportation array and leave. The randomness of the random teleportation array is too high. Let me take on this dangerous thing, Aksu pointed to the tunnel dug by the elite serrated beast and pointed to the teleportation array. Then he patted Ackman's shoulder and said, whether the tribe can continue depends on you. I'll keep an eye on you. After that, he jumped into the teleportation array and left. Ackerman looked at the departing chieftain with a gloomy expression and thought, hee hee, okay, my good chieftain. Ackerman began to tinker around the teleportation array before slowly swimming towards the escape tunnel and leaving. Shortly thereafter, the beast commander arrived here, glanced at the teleportation array and then at the escape tunnel. He lost a few things around the teleportation array and left towards the escape tunnel. The Thousand Beast Chief watched as the fewer and fewer sawtooth beasts were unwilling to fight and retreat, slowly retreating. In the end, the Thousand Beast Chief couldn't hold on any more and quickly evacuated with the remaining troops. The sawtooth beast army was defeated and fled like a mountain. When they arrived at their base, they saw debris and marks around the teleportation array, and then crawled in again. The elite jellyfish arrived and saw that the teleportation array was over in an hour, so they quickly sent troops to kill them. After looking at the teleportation array, Golden Water looked up and ordered several elite jellyfish to bombard the top. The sound of rumbling reached the ground, and at this moment, Golden Leaf noticed the vibrations in the area and led the jellyfish to attack the ground. In no time, a hole was blasted out. Golden Leaf and Golden Water successfully merged, watching the teleportation array with less than 20 minutes left to countdown.
In the end, Golden Leaf decided to leave his 1000 elite jellyfish, level 1000, to chase after the thief, while Golden Water led the remaining troops along the escape tunnel. One beast captain caught up with Ackman, who was commanding the hundred level sawtooth beast. What about the clan chief? The clan leader has left the teleportation array, ah. I thought it was deceiving the enemy, said the beast lord in surprise, did the enemy break through the front line army so quickly? Ackerman asked, yes, the enemy is too strong. After commanding there for a while, they were defeated. I ran fast, so I came back to report it, said one beast without blushing or jumping, we need to hurry up, Ackerman immediately commanded the elite serrated beast to dig upwards. After a while, it dug to the ground and scouted for a moment without seeing the enemy, causing the elite serrated beast to collapse the tunnel. Leading the elite serrated beast towards the surface of the water, they quickly left. Not long after, the golden water also arrived here. Watching the collapsed tunnel, it ordered the elite jellyfish to bombard. After a while, it appeared on the ground along the passage. Looking at the direction, it had the reconnaissance jellyfish detect it for a while. After knowing the direction, it carried the elite jellyfish to float towards the water surface. After an unknown amount of time, upon reaching the surface of the water, Golden Water's face turned pale as he saw the sawtooth beasts flying towards the island in the sky. By the time they caught up, they had already arrived on land, and he could only itch to let the elite jellyfish bombard him for a few hours before leaving. Ackerman exclaimed with joy, fortunately, I ran fast, otherwise it would have cooled down. Humph, since you are not kind to the clan leader, then I will be unjust. Ackman said to the elite members of the Sawtooth Beast tribe around him, the clan leader is not kind and treats the tribe members as cut dogs. Today, Ackman has turned against me. Who among you agrees with or opposes? The elite serrated beasts looked at each other, and then the beast leader stood up and said, I agree. Follow that bird clan leader, I've already had enough of that bird aura. Ackman is the most worthy clan leader to follow. He knelt down on one knee and shouted, May I follow Ackman clan leader? The elite serrated beasts also swore an oath to Ackman. Ding, it has been detected that Ackman has a hundred elite serrated beasts elected as the clan leader. Ding, detected that the highest leader of the ethnic group is the ordinary ethnic group leader. Ding, Ackerman successfully gained independence. Ding, congratulations to Ackman for obtaining the evolutionary system. Upon hearing this prompt, Ackerman was pleasantly surprised and immediately understood something. He also learned about the function of the evolutionary system and took the population to find a place to settle down before further research. At this moment, Aksu, who had come out of the teleportation array, saw the surrounding environment and was pleasantly surprised to find a small island not far away. He quickly swam over and soon, the Thousand Beast Chief also appeared here. When he saw the tribal chief ahead, he chased after him with his tribe members. Later, Golden Leaf arrived here with the elite jellyfish. After looking at the fleeing sawtooth beast, they chased after it and bombarded it with lightning. One after another, the sawtooth beast was shot down, falling into the sea like dumplings. Aksu quickly reached the ground upon seeing the scene behind him and relentlessly penetrated inland. Chapter 7 Land You are listening at NovelFull.audio after Aksu arrived on land, he watched as the serrated beasts behind him were killed one by one. In the end, only a few hundred ordinary serrated beasts survived to reach the land, and the thousand beasts chief also managed to escape, trembling one by one behind the stone mountain. Damn it, I let them run away, said Golden Leaf regretfully the elite jellyfish roamed around the land, occasionally firing lightning balls and bombarding them with immense power. The stone mountain trembled with the bombardment, and in the end, they might have given up. Golden Leaf left with the elite English jellyfish. After arriving at the seabed with the elite jellyfish, Golden Leaf looked around at unfamiliar places and returned to the location of the teleportation array. At this point, the teleportation array only had a few minutes left. Time is coming, retreat. 
Golden Leaf led the elite jellyfish back into the teleportation array, and after a while, the teleportation array completely disappeared. Finally escaped, what kind of monster is this? It's so strong. I remember in the previous game of the Secret Realm Planet, Lightning Jellyfish was only at the elite level. Was it just some miscellaneous fish I encountered at that time? Aksu said as he looked at the departing elite jellyfish. Take a break, we'll be exploring the interior of the land later, Aksu said to the living sawtooth beast tribe. Then I found a place to lie down and rest. Ding, due to the lower quantity and quality of your population compared to Ackerman, Ackerman has successfully separated from the population, the system prompts them. Mm. What? Ackman betrayed me. Damn it. This traitor. Aksu jumped up angrily. Another system prompt, Ding, your clan member, the Thousand Beasts chief, successfully led the remaining Sawtooth Beast tribe out of your control. Damn it. Aksu looked at the Thousand Beasts chief in horror, you're old, it's time to abdicate, Thousand Beast leader said to Aksu, no. The system will exchange 100,000 ordinary Sawtooth Beast people for me, Aksu quickly said, Ding, you have been betrayed by your tribe and have successfully obtained the title of Betrayal and Relativity. You cannot exchange it for the Sawtooth Beast clan. Dot. Ah. Aksu quickly fled with a sound. Chien Beast changed his name to Acteo, and Acteo took out his energy cannon and fired at Aksu. With a loud bang, Aksu was knocked down to the ground. Redeem for random teleportation of single character symbols, ding, exchange successful, use now. Another energy cannon shot past, and just as it was about to hit, Aksu turned into a beam of light and disappeared, and the energy beam hit the ground. Damn it, our dear clan leader has actually escaped, Octao said expressionlessly. Set up camp and camp on the spot, this will be our habitat, and build it well. After giving the order, we continued to work. In some land, a light flashed and Aksu appeared. Hu hu hu. Fortunately, I ran fast, almost finished, Aksu said with a grateful expression on his face. Then he looked at the surrounding environment, which looked like an empty flat ground with occasional towering weeds, but there was hardly any vitality in sight, as if it were a dead silence. Flip opened the panel, locked and unable to view, Please reproduce the population, Aksu click to reproduce again, ding, ethnic reset successful, you can only reload using your current template and name it the Sujagd Beast Clan. After loading, the panel will display as follows, race. Sawtooth Beast. Su, ant level 26, possessing two forms. Animal and human, possessing abilities. Rapid rotation, lightning core. Energy Shield, Ant Level Defense Value, Chief Oxu's Exclusive Ability. Space Teleportation, Life Forms. Silicon Dot Based Life, After the previous lesson, Oxu replaced his exclusive ability with Space Teleportation. Although the previous one was good, due to the betrayal and separation of the ethnic group, that ability was removed and may have been inherited by others. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Changing now can ensure one's safety. As long as one lives, the ethnic group will develop again in their own hands. The ability column can only load three types. Only by removing the previous ones can we load the current ones. The ability to absorb the essence of the sun and the moon to become stronger is a chicken's ribs, because the improvement is not obvious, and it has been upgraded since then. The core of exchanging Thunder series is to give the tribe similar cultivation abilities. Click on the breeding population, ding, obtain an initial population of 1000, in an instant, a thousand sawtooth beast races appeared around. After looking around at the sawtooth beasts, I arranged for them to start camping and rest in the future. As a habitat, it is still possible, at least there are plants to eat, and it doesn't look too dangerous. Within the stellar nucleus. Lu Zhizhong watched as the land on his planet grew larger and the ocean grew smaller, and began to control his body size to avoid becoming a water scarce land planet. After all, as of now, most of the life on the planet is in the ocean, and the land is barren with only occasional green plants, but most of it is very barren. 
I think we need to find a way to get some water, Lu Zhizhong thought to himself at this time, the size of Lu Zhizhong's planet had reached a diameter of 1,000 kilometers, while the ocean area accounted for less than 1%, and the rest was land, which was constantly expanding. In order to protect the life on his planet, Lu Zhizhong began to transform the planet by controlling the nuclear energy of the star. With the influence of nuclear energy within the planet, countless species continue to emerge and reproduce at an increasingly fast pace, and contact with each other becomes more frequent. Wars between species continue to occur the big Zongzi star now has a diameter of 500 kilometers and an atmosphere, it's so cool under the big tree, ha ha ha. The star core has successfully condensed and its strength is becoming stronger and stronger. It's just a defective life species, let's ask first, thought Big Zongzi, hello, hello, is the boss here? Big Zongzi said to Lu Zhizhong. Lu Zhizhong received the information of Big Zongzi in star core space, and left star core space to check what Big Zongzi wanted to say. What's the matter? Lu Zhizhong said, looking at the Big Zongzi star. Looking at the Big Zongzi star, it must be an ocean. This guy has a lot of water, so we need to find a way to make it up. Can the boss give me some life species? Big Zongzi said to Lu Zhizhong, as long as the living environment meets the standards, living species will emerge on their own, but it will take a long time, and the specific time is unclear. Then Lu Zhizhong said, it's not impossible for you to see what you want so much. Lu Zhizhong looked at the sea water in the Big Zongzi planet and said, let me choose the water, and you can choose any life species. Transaction, after that, the two planets intertwined with each other in gravitational clusters, pulling each other's materials, and the sea water kept pouring into Lu Zhizhong's planet, while the life species in the planet also entered the big Zongzi planet with gravity and water flow, after an unknown amount of material exchange. In the end, Lu Zhizhong's sea area reached 20%. In contrast, the diameter of the big Zongzi was directly reduced by a circle, but there were also some more land, although not much. We need to find more meteorites with plenty of water to devour, Lu Zhizhong said and looked at the meteorite belt that looked suspiciously watery. But before that, it's better to increase your body size and resist the beating. Chapter 8 Lakes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Aksu stared blankly at the natural disaster and stood at a high place for a while, with no end in sight. It turned out that he had been living well on land not long ago. Suddenly, in a distant place, seawater appeared from the sky, sweeping many creatures deep into the sky. In the distance, it was not something Aksu could see. After all, Aksu doesn't have astronomical telescope like eyes. The main reason for seeing such a scene is that it's too large, and the sea water is starting to rise, so it has to migrate inland. The elite lightning jellyfish are still waiting for themselves in the sea, and after this period of development, Aksu already knows where he is. And the lightning jellyfish tribe also knows their location and sends jellyfish to monitor them every day. If it weren't for the water, I would have gone inland long ago and not been affected by their bird-like aura, Aksu sighed. Although Aksu knew that his population was silicon dot based, he had no choice. Previously, he was an aquatic organism, but if he suddenly left the water and lived on land, he would overload and die under long dot term waterless conditions. Eating plants replenishes too little water, at most it can replenish energy and prevent oneself from dying from energy exhaustion. It's time to set off, leave here, and move inland. As he spoke, the whole clan transformed into animal form, spinning rapidly like tires, migrating inland. A hundred years later, the journey was so deserted. Could it be that this was the prehistoric period of the secret realm planet, with so few plants that I almost starved to death? Clan leader, we have discovered a lake ahead, surrounded by grasslands everywhere, Akshi said. Akshi was a deputy promoted by himself, and can also be said to be the Grand Director of Internal Affairs. Send a team to investigate the specific situation, Aksu replied the lake ahead is quiet, and there are not many animals around, only some weeds and a few towering trees. 
several Sioux sawtooth beasts were investigating the danger to ensure the safety of the subsequent tribe members. After discovering no problems, they sent a Sioux sawtooth beast back to report. Before long, the Sioux sawtooth beast returned to the camp and told Aksu what he had seen. After arranging for the ethnic group to build a new home, Aksu took a few people to the lake to take a look. Surrounding the lake is an endless grassland with a few trees, possibly due to their small size. The grass is actually not short, and based on my previous life's unit of measurement, I estimate my height to be only 1 mm. These grasses are about 10 to 10 cm high, but I am accustomed to calling them grass oxu stood on a tree and looked into the distance, feeling that it would be better to build a nest in the tree. After talking to a sawtooth beast, he asked it to go back and notify the tribe to come here. He chose a good location to dig a house for himself. Buzzing, spun around and drilled a hole in the trunk, starting to create its own small nest. It was necessary to build a square for gathering purposes. At present, there are only tens of thousands of people in the ethnic group, and there will definitely not be enough space after the tree trunk. We can only build underground around the tree to be more concealed. The land is still too barren, and I feel like my own population is going to become herbivores. I haven't seen any animals for hundreds of years. If it weren't for the grass and a few trees, would have thought it was some kind of Jedi. Perhaps it was too boring and there were not many people to communicate with. Aksu muttered to himself, but after some time, the tribe came over and arranged for them to build nests here, while also planning for development. They may stay here for a long time in the future. The collection team will go collect some food and come back. The others will follow my instructions to build nests. Akshi, you will be responsible for supervising the work. Akjiang is responsible for leading the collection team and must come back before dark. Don't linger outside. Although the system defines itself as a silicon-based organism, it still cannot escape the fate of eating. After all, there is no energy source for itself to feed on, and only grass can be used to convert plants to supply its daily energy needs. The only benefit may be that as long as there is enough energy, one can continue to live. However, there are pros and cons, and because of this, reproduction is difficult. The larger the population, the greater the energy consumption. During hundreds of years of migration, deserts and grasslands are everywhere, and food that can convert energy is scarce. Many ethnic people die completely due to energy depletion. This grassland and lake are large enough to provide for the survival of hundreds of millions of people. Perhaps more tribe members can be bred, so as not to let new biological groups take over this good place in the future. Aksu greedily looked at the endless lake in the distance. The sound of rain, tick by tick, awakened Aksu's imagination, it's raining. This is really nice. It's been a long time since I've seen rain. There's rain, lakes, and grasslands. It's really a good habitat bestowed upon me by heaven for the sawtooth beast tribe, Aksu shouted happily, dancing and dancing. The people of the tribe started dancing and dancing with the joy of the tribal leader. It is estimated that something good has happened. The wandering life of the Susotooth beast tribe has also been enough, and they can finally settle down today. It is said that they have been living here for a long time. The people of the tribe are full of infinite imagination for the future, and the speed of work has unconsciously accelerated a bit. At this moment, Akjiang led a collection team to harvest the green grass, cutting it into pieces and stacking them neatly. One team was responsible for transportation back and forth, one team was responsible for cutting and stacking neatly, and the other team was only responsible for cutting. The shape of the sujagged beast will turn into a wheel shape, and a sharp blade can be ejected from the outer circle, like a saw tooth. The human form blade can be generated from behind, lost or damaged, requiring its own core energy to reproduce, but it takes an extremely long time or consumes a large amount of energy to accelerate. Akjiang wielded a sharp blade to patrol the surroundings, occasionally commanding and urging the collection team. Although there was no apparent danger on the surface, it was still important not to take it lightly. 
As the sky slowly began to darken, Ah Jiang looked around and asked the collection team to handle the existing ones before leading them back. On the way, Ah Jiang had a faint feeling of being watched, but no enemy was detected. The surroundings were quiet, so the team had to accelerate back home. The team members may not know why, but they have no doubts and can only accelerate their pace. It's very cautious, the little Zongzi said. It's not enough to have just one tribe here, we need to add more systems. The Star Master is in charge of everything on the planet, and I need to think carefully about how to play it for fun, he said before disappearing. Ackerman led his tribe through hardships and successfully migrated to the east of this lake. Watching the vast and lush grassland, Ackerman burst into tears and finally settled down. Akia, take someone to explore and see if there is any danger, Ackman said to Akia. Akia was the former beast chief, and now he has a name, which can be considered a prominent figure with a surname. His current identity is the second head of the Mansatuth beast clan. Okay, Akia said and led a team into the grass forest. Chapter 9 Deming Ethnic Group You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Ko Lois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 10 Meteorite Belt. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At this time, Lu Zhizhong was taking his little brother, Zongzi, to the edge of the meteorite belt after years of sailing. It is 400 million kilometers away from the sun, and there are many water containing meteorites. At this time, Lu Zhizhong's star has reached an astonishing diameter of 15,000 kilometers, and the diameter of Big Zongzi star has also reached 5,000 kilometers. Due to Lu Zhizhong's ingestion of many other types of meteorites, the sea surface area at this time appeared to be extremely small. In addition, the weather, climate, and precipitation spread out, forming many lakes. The green color on the land also increased significantly. However, now that it is far from the sun, the weather inevitably becomes cold, and even the sea surface is covered with a lot of ice. The Big Zongzi star has also swallowed a lot of meteorites, and the land area has become larger and larger from the previous small pieces of land. In addition, before the Big Zongzi star consciousness, it used star nuclear energy to distribute to the world, and the evolution of species has accelerated a lot. Now, because it is far away from the sun, the land is white and the sea is full of icebergs. When we get to the local place, we have to swallow more meteorites with more water this time. If we swallow more water, we will hide under the ground. The sea level of the province rises too much and the land is flooded again, Lu Zhizhong said to Zongzi. Good, big Zongzi replied Lu Zhizhong took the big Zongzi to catch the meteorite and slowly devour it after tearing it into pieces, and then compressed the hard part into the core of the earth. The soil and water remained on the surface of the planet, and the part that escaped was swallowed by the big Zongzi, so the boring days continued. After settling down, the Aksu tribe lived a peaceful and stable life, with an increasing population. Now, after a hundred years of development, the tribe's population has reached one million without lacking energy sources. Today, Aksu decided to establish the country. Those who have been called clan chiefs and feel stingy now have a population of one million. It is time to change their names, and after preparing Akshi for a long coronation ceremony, after a complicated process, Aksu finally stood on the high platform of the square and announced to important members of the clan that he officially declared himself king and established the state of Su. In order to make the people feel happy, a lot of supplies were distributed to celebrate a good holiday. The state of Su was established within the range of five trees, and the people lived in treehouses with a small portion residing on the ground and underground. Seal Akshi as Prime Minister appoint Aksha as the left general appoint Akbu as the right general Fong Akjian, collection officer concurrently serving as finance department appoint Akka as the second lord of Tree City appoint Aklan as the lord of the third Tree City Fong Akka was appointed as the lord of the fourth Tree City Fong Akma was appointed as the lord of the fifth Tree City I won't say anything else, I'll arrange it myself. After asking them all to report their work, Aksu also had a lot of leisure. 
They arranged for people to build several more large cities on the ground, but the five cities were still a bit too shabby. With a population of 1 million, each tree city is divided equally into 200,000, which is good enough for the tree city to be towering enough, with enough branches and a huge area. Otherwise, it would not be able to accommodate so many people. The distance between the tree cities is far, but standing at the highest point, one can also vaguely see the figures of other giant trees. I don't know if it's an illusion recently. The weather is getting colder and colder, and the Soviet government has started organizing larger teams to harvest plants and store them outside. Only by having more food can people feel at ease. After the chiefs of the Man tribe, Akman and Akshia, led their tribe to settle in this grassy forest in the east, they had a stable source of energy, and the population flourished. In just a hundred years, they multiplied to tens of millions of people, especially the people of the Man tribe who discovered more energy efficient plants and planted them on a large scale. Every time they grow almost, they harvest a wave. The people of the Man tribe live on the ground, building many large cities and many small and medium dot sized cities. Each city has a large warehouse for storing things. The largest city is Mandu, the capital of the Manchu tribe, with a population of over 3 million. The second largest city is the city of West Asia built by the second ruler Akia, with a population of over 2 million. The distance between the two cities is far and does not interfere with each other. There is a main road connecting the two cities, and vehicles transporting goods on the road occasionally pass by. And there are numerous high dot rise buildings in the city, people coming and going on the streets, and many restaurants are also open. The Man tribe has now been renamed the Federation of Mancha, mainly consisting of cities built by Akman and Akia, while the remaining are small and medium dot sized cities scattered around the two cities. Mandu Ackerman stood in the tallest building in the city, gazing at the howling wind outside. The weather was getting colder year by year, and the production of high dot energy crops had also decreased significantly. If this continued, he would probably face great difficulties. Starting from today, the entire federation will intensify food hoarding to cope with cold weather. Go and pass on the notice to every lord under its jurisdiction. Okay, Manchester City Lord slowly left with a figure. West Asia City. I understand, I will arrange it and inform the other city lords, Akia said as he looked at the man from Mandu. It seems that we are intensifying the construction of the fortress, Akia watched as his city of West Asia was being built according to his own ideas. At this moment, the city of West Asia was built like a pyramid, and the central warehouse had already accumulated a large amount of supplies. There was a small warehouse containing special energy mineral crystals, which were not yet completed, just not capped. Special energy mineral crystals are really good things, I feel like I've become stronger again, Akia thought as he absorbed the energy from the crystals. There is a special energy mine vein under the city of West Asia, which is really a pleasant surprise. It needs to be well protected. Whether it can become stronger in the future depends on these things. After speaking, Akia threw himself into absorbing crystal energy for cultivation. Two small towns in the southwestern edge region are fighting together against an unknown ethnic group. This group is humanoid in appearance, but physically weak and vulnerable. At first, the people of the two small towns thought they were just walking meat, thinking that it was getting cold and they even brought food. They were so happy that they organized people to go hunting. Unexpectedly, the other party looked weak, but their strength was so strong. One of the men held a large iron rod and knocked it over, instantly shattering the surrounding enemies. The small town lord Kara looked at the brave enemy and said to another small town lord next to him, the enemy is a bit strong, we need to take out weapons to suppress the bottom of the box. Send elite soldiers to fight and report the situation to the intermediate city lord. On the battlefield. The enemy is a group of steel creatures. Are they so hard? Rod almost can't even move them. It seems that he has found a way to escape the battle, but he must defeat them first, otherwise he thinks we are easy to deal with, said the man Rossi. 
After watching the other party bring in hundreds of more powerful warriors, Rossi also selected hundreds of warriors from his tribe to fight.